Justin Bieber is caught with his pants down again. Hold your feels, we've got Selena Gomez in Netflix's new Fundamentals of Caring trailer. And did Adele yell at a fan filming her? We've got all that and more on today's rundown. Um, we're still going red for the AHA and Ad Council's Go Red for Women campaign today. Yep, and later we're giving shout outs to everyone who posted photos of themselves wearing red. But first, Kylie Jenner is setting the record straight. Kylie's will shot down those reports claiming Tyga owes her $2 million writing on Twitter, lies, lies, lies. All right, so that was a pretty quick shutdown. But now that Tyga and Kylie are broken up, everyone wants to know if Kylie has a new man. She's been seen with Canadian rapper Party Next Door, and over the weekend, she Snapchatted them hanging out. So the rapper's seen playing the piano and serenading Kylie with her own little verse. And in a second Snapchat video posted by Party Next Door, we see this very cryptic response that he gives Kylie to her accusing him of hiding her. What do I do? You not only hide me, you delete me. What do I do? You delete me. No, I don't, man. I'm protecting you. I'm just protecting you? What does that even mean? Well, a source tells E! News, quote, from the outside, it looks like there's a lot more going on between them than what actually is. They're just enjoying each other's company, and Kylie is trying to have fun and get her mind off of Tyga and stay strong because she's pretty hurt. This smells like a rebound. It has rebound mm -hmm. written all over it. She's well, it just happened to... so fast. It really did. I mean, did. come on, she was just broke up with Tyga like last week or something. So my friends and I from college have a theory that Girls don't break up with guys until there's another guy behind the scenes. Like, they need a jumping point, you know? You know, I could totally agree with you. I feel like every guy I've dated, I've always ended up dating a friend afterwards. Because guys kind of just hang around until the right moment. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, maybe he was hanging around before then, but do you think that she's going to be on his next album? I hope not. That <laughs> song, that whole verse, I hope not. Okay, Adele gets real with one of her fans in her audience this past weekend. Now, let's be honest, we've all had our phones out during a concert. Recently at the Beyonce concert, we all went and um, I looked across the sea of people and everyone had a phone up. So everyone has done this. Well, Adele has had enough with the <laughs> filming. She called out a fan during her show in Verona, Italy on Sunday, who was filming with a tripod. Yeah, I want to tell that lady as well, can you stop filming me with a video camera? Because I'm really here in real life. You can enjoy it in real life rather than see your the fans erupted in applause <laughs> and cheering and I kind of feel bad for this person who was called out because like I said everyone has filmed I mean a tripod is taking it a step too far That's a little extreme yeah but she's like you know what I am here in person IRL like you I'm right here don't film me because yeah. you're not living in the moment which I totally agree and I think it was less about this individual um, than it is about Adele trying to make a larger statement about everyone just kind of trying to be in the moment versus always trying to capture everything on your phone all the time. I mean, I'm guilty of it. I do it all the time. But how often do you actually watch those videos? I never look back. I never do. I have a hundred Beyonce yeah. videos that I'm never going to see again. So I much would rather be in the moment and watch her live than just be filming it like this. Totally. Justin Bieber is dropping some new music and some explicit photos on all of us. We have clips of the new tracks and one involves Drake. But first, let's talk about this R-rated selfie he posted on Friday night. The Biebs posted this pic on Instagram grabbing his assets while wearing a pair of Calvin Klein boxer briefs standing in front of the mirror, writing hashtag my Calvin. So it is a campaign. Erin, are mirror selfies passe? I thought they were <laughs> passe back when MySpace was a thing. Like I, they, they made a comeback, I guess, but they really I'm really did. overseeing people's weens. <laughs> Period. Mirror selfies, like I just, Snapchat, I've opened up my Snapchat so people can send me snaps. I'm yeah. like, a little less ween, please. I, I don't, I'm not interested in looking at all of it. It's so funny. I got an email this morning from Aaron talking about this story saying Justin Bieber's ween, and I just started laughing at my desk. I mean, it, 
Okay, if Kim Kardashian can post her body, yeah. can Justin Bieber, or yeah. should they both just stop? <laughs> I think it should all go away, honestly. I, I have no judgment on it, either sex. I just, you know, I like things a little bit more reserved. But yeah. like you said, this is a campaign, and Calvin Klein, it is an underwear brand, so it makes sense that he'd be posing in his underwear. I totally get it. But you know what? This shouldn't break the internet, because haven't we all seen photos of Justin Bieber's private parts many times before? Yeah, so we saw that like, bare booty. It's not new news, so I'm not as shocked as some people were at this post. Well, he's redeeming himself a little bit because he dropped two new tracks in a club Ugh. just to kind of tease the audience and see how they reacted, and they're both really good. The first one is his new single, Cold Water with Major Lazer. It's supposedly dropping in the next few weeks, but here's a little taste. <laughs> Drum roll, please. The second clip is a remix of Drake's One Dance. Speaking of Justin Bieber, let's just transition right into a Selena Gomez story <laughs> because I don't know if that transition will ever go away. Never. You guys, grab some tissues because the new trailer for Selena's new movie, Fundamentals of Caring, has just dropped and it's all up in my feels. There. My name's Ben. Are you a pervert? I'm not a pervert. That's exactly what a pervert would say. I'm Dot. Shut up. Two perverts got room for one more. We left when I was three. Hi. We need Bob. Tell him it's Trevor. And if that doesn't jog his memory, say he's in a wheelchair. And if that doesn't jog his memory, say he's your son. And if that doesn't jog his memory, say you're an enormous dick. Now you probably noticed that Selgo doesn't get a lot of screen time in this trailer, but it is enough to kind of tease us for what we think is going to be one of her most touching performances to date. She plays this character named Dodd, a hitchhiking runaway teen who gets picked up by a home caregiver named Ben, who of course is played by Paul Rudd, and then his wheelchair-bound patient named Trevor. Ben and Trevor are on an odd bucket list road trip that's going to lead Trevor to his father who abandoned in him and from what we can tell Selena's character is going to be very sassy and provide a lot of comedic relief in what feels like it could be a tear-jerking indie dramedy of sorts. So this is going to be available streaming on Netflix on June 24th and this is a role that Selena really desperately wanted to do. She told Vulture, I understood that these were three broken people that were going through their own separate journeys and I was willing and I wanted to go there. I wanted to do all the things that I could do with her so I auditioned three times. I'm excited. I am so glad that Selena's music career is taking off and now she can kind of put some more focus back into her acting career. I've always loved her as an actress, so mm -hmm. I hope this is good. It looks good, right? So like we mentioned, us here at Clever, we've all gone red today because we are helping to support a very special cause, Women's Heart Help for the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women campaign. So most people think of heart disease as a man's disease, yeah. but it's really not. It claims the lives of one out of three women each year, more than all cancers combined. It's true, but don't get scared though, because 80% yeah. of those heart disease and stroke cases can be changed and prevented due to lifestyle changes. There are lots you can do to improve your heart health, so spread the word and be part of the movement. Just head on over to GoRedForWomen.org to learn more. Now, a lot of you guys went red with us last week. You tweeted us and Instagram photos of yourself wearing red, and we're gonna give you a couple of shout outs, starting off with Clay Bryce, who just is so consistently a fan of Clever. He always is involved in anything that we do. You look so handsome. Also moving on to M. Alexandra, who captioned this photo perfectly. She's beautiful, by the way. She said, I think women's lives matter anywhere in the world. Great job from Romania with love. And Maddie Warwick posted four photos in different kinds of red outfits. She has a cute flannel on, a headband, and also a headdress, which is really so pretty. Cute. Even some red lips. I love it. Now, I think my favorite post came from Rainy, who just stole my heart. He posted this photo of himself wearing red saying, I'm not American nor a woman, but women are the most important part of my life and I want for them better than what I want for myself. Oh my God. I couldn't help, I had to comment on that. He is so precious. All of you guys were so sweet and you looked adorable. I'm so, you guys have to show us more photos of yourself because you are good looking. Yeah, we love this and going red is so important. We really appreciate the support. Okay, what are your thoughts and feels on Adele calling out this fan for videoing the show? Do you think it's rude? <laughs> Do you think she's in the right? 
And also, what do you guys think of Kylie and Party Next Door? Are they dating? Are they just casual? Are they friends? What's going on? I think they're dating, but who asked me? We're asking you guys, because you're <laughs> the experts, not us. Thanks for hanging out with us here on DHR. Also, hit us up on socials. I'm at Hey Erin Robinson. She's at Dan Danielle Robay. And you guys, we'll hang out over there, too. So yeah. we'll be back here tomorrow, and have an awesome day. Click left for 11 heart racing moments of 2016 so far. Or click to the right for the details on Jay Beeb's new girlfriend. Ooh.